All right, so if you guys are wondering how to do a flat floor in the back of your Jeep JK, I think I got one that's pretty good. So all I did was I went to Home Depot and got a half inch MDF 4x8 piece of wood. Had them cut it in half, so it is 48 inches deep and cut it kind of did some grooves where it goes in and out extended it so the footwells i did this for my two dogs and then i glued some of their scraper welcome mats i got two of them that i believe were 24 by 48 inches Actually, I think it was 36 by 48 inches. So it almost did the whole sheet back here. And then glued that down, rolled it around the edges and stapled it. Um, but it's pretty, it's in there. I've got a Belgian Malinois and they seem to really like it. It's rubberized and it's got the grooves. It doesn't really capture the hair or anything, which is nice. So. Um, him being a uh, brownish fur, and then I've got a black lab with black fur. Um, you can see, I'm going to clean up now, but I just, that's the scrap pieces for braces since the floor is not that even. And then I'm able to store a bunch of bags, recovery gear, um, straps, um, a little shovel and all that and it's out of sight um, you can't get to it from in here really so I got the netting I did find out though when the rubber mat is hot it expands and then when you glue it down the seam right there spread apart so I got some black silicone caulk and put that in between and that seems to have uh, glued both uh, pieces together but yeah this is uh, exactly what I wanted and needed and the dogs love it they can stand up and go around corners and I would say it's about $45 to make it the sheet of plywood was $20 and some odd cents and then the two rubber mats uh, I think were nine something um, So yeah, it wasn't that bad All right, if you have any questions uh, Please ask